Good morning, everyone. This is take four of the iris stitch. I'm having camera issues and operator error on camera issues. So let's try this one more time and hopefully this is it. So we're gonna learn the iris stitch and it's done in multiples of four for your starting chain. And so let's do that in multiples of four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So that's five groups of four. Now you want to do plus two. Now you can plus one. I am sorry, it is plus one. You can um, make your chain as long as you want for whatever the length of the, your project is, but you want to do it in multiples of four and then the plus one. So in the second chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet just to make our foundation sturdier and one single crochet in each chain all the way across to the end of your chain. Okay, so now that you've reached the end of your chain with a row of single crochet, you want to chain up three, turn your work, one, two, three, four. So you're skipping two, but it's the fourth stitch. And this is counted as one where, your chain, where you chained up. So one, two, three, four. So skip two open stitches and do two double crochets. Chain one and then two double crochets. One, two, three in the fourth stitch, you are going to do two double crochets, a chain one, and two more double crochets in that same stitch. Skip three, and in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two doubles. Chain one, and two more doubles in the same stitch. Skip one, or <laughs> skip three, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch you're gonna do, yep, you guessed it, two doubles. Chain one, and two doubles. Okay. 
So then we have three stitches left, which is what we wanted. At the beginning, we skipped two. So we're skipping two. And in the last stitch, we are placing one single double crochet. Yay, I got my count right. <laughs> All right, so then to turn, we're gonna chain up three, turn our work, and in our chain one space, kind of looks like a double V. In the chain one space, you're going to place two double crochets. A chain one and two more double crochets. You're going to skip that opening and come over to where the, the double V is the chain space and place two double crochets. A chain one and two more double crochets. Okay, skip that space and come over to your double V chain space there. Two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. And you do that all the way across until you get to the end, which we just happen to be at my last stitch here. So that's two doubles, one chain, two more doubles, Now we're at the end, we're going to place a double crochet in one, two, three, the third chain from our turning chain on the previous row. Okay, and to turn, we chain three, turn our work, And we do the same thing over again. Hmm. All right, I put that in the wrong spot. It's not looking right. One, two, three. Okay. okay, so we chain up three, turn our work and do the same thing over again, because this is a super easy, almost mindless, one row repeat that ends up being very pretty in the end. Two doubles, a chain, and two doubles. Two doubles, chain, two doubles. Two doubles, a chain, and two doubles, and a double crochet in the top chain of your turning chain from the previous row. Chain up three. Turn your work, 
and you start all over again. Two doubles, a chain, two doubles, two doubles, a chain, two doubles. Okay, so I've worked a few more rows off camera and it's really a pretty stitch. You can alternate colors. You can do an ombre effect with it. I think it would make a great scarf, a great blanket, a great whatever you want to use it for. It's just, it's quick, easy, one row repeat piece of cake. Okay, so now we're, we've reached our desired length and we want to end this off. Now, of course, you could leave it like it is or you could finish it off to where it'll look similar to how we started. So to do that, we're gonna chain three, turn our work, and come over here and place a single crochet in our chain one space. And we're gonna chain three again, and put a single crochet in our chain one space. cat hair. <laughs> Chain three and put a single crochet in our chain one space. Chain three and put a single crochet in our chain one space. And on the end, chain three and put a single crochet in our turning chain space. Chain one and turn and finish it off with a row of single crochet. So we have one two, three, and four. Remember, it's multiples of four that we started with. So one, two, three, and four is in our single crochet of our previous row. So one, two, three, and in our single crochet space. And at, on the ends, we did two, two, and then three. There you go. And that finished it off. So you have a similar ending to your beginning. Not quite the same, but very close. And that's it. That is all there is to doing the iris, iris stitch. I can talk. That's like a tongue twister for me for some reason. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, take four worked. If not, I'll be back for take five. We'll see you in the next video.